In today's video, we are going to try and establish how many sets we need to maximize muscle growth and size for given body part or muscle group. Secondly, we will take a look at what is the minimum amount we have to do in order to just maintain our current level of muscle over 50 years old because we have the additional challenge of fighting off age-related muscle loss. Now this can be helpful information because life gets busy and there are times when we just can't train as much as we'd like, whether it be family obligations or a work project that has a tight deadline. With this information, we can maintain our hard-earned muscle size with the minimum amount of time spent until we have the opportunity to get back to our regular schedule and continue on our path to greater muscle growth. The American College of Sports Medicine recommends one to three sets for each exercise per workout for beginners at 70 to 85% of their one rep max, training two to three times per week, and three to six sets for more advanced lifters at 70 to 100% of their one rep max, three to five times a week, making for a weekly set range for newer lifters of two to nine sets per week and more experienced lifters doing at least nine and upwards of 18 to 20 sets per body part. One of the other things the American College of Sports Medicine suggests is that beginners work with a rep range of eight to 12 reps and more advanced lifters who are focusing on muscle size use one to 12 reps with the emphasis being in the six to 12 rep range. This is important because just using sets as a guideline is incomplete without taking into account reps and effort. In this case, they define effort as percent of one rep max. I personally prefer reps in reserve, which is how many reps you could have done to reach failure once you finished a set. So if you did a set of 10 reps, but felt you could have done two more before you hit failure, then that would be two reps in reserve. To try and figure out the minimum amount of sets we have to do, we'll take a look at a study where they took a group of older men between the ages of 60 and 75. They also had a second group of younger men between the ages of 20 to 35 do the same study so they could compare the results. They had these men do lower body training for 16 weeks. The exercises used were squats, leg press, and leg extension. Three sets for each exercise, three times a week, at 75 to 80% of their one rep max, which put them in the 8 to 12 rep range. And it's no surprise that after 16 weeks, they all built muscle, because we can get fit and build muscle at any age. After this, they broke them into three groups. One group stopped training altogether. The second group cut back to one-third the volume, which would have been nine sets a week, and the last group cut back to one-ninth the volume, which would have been only three sets per week. No surprise that the group that quit training altogether lost all their gains in eight weeks. It took 16 weeks for the group that dropped back to one-ninth of the training volume to lose their gains, but the group that cut back to one-third the training volume still had all the muscle they had built even after 32 weeks. So based on this information, if you are training full body workouts three times a week and have to drop back to once a week, you should still be able to maintain your muscle mass. Interestingly enough, the younger men that duplicated this study still had new muscle growth even after dropping down to one third the volume. Now I chose a 2016 systematic review and meta-analysis published in the Journal of Sports Sciences to help establish the upper end for training sets. Now there are limitations with the research. The two biggest ones for me is the lack of studies in this area on men our age and there are very few done on experienced lifters. This meta-analysis looked at 15 studies and concluded that the amount of sets for the maximum muscle growth was the same whether you were training your upper body or your lower and found this to be 10 plus sets per muscle group. They couldn't predict higher than this because there just wasn't the studies available. Training at higher volumes for a longer period of time could potentially lead to overtraining, which is why I like to increase the number of sets in each training block until I hit a period of overreaching, then back off the sets with a bit of a deload and work my way back up again. So don't be afraid to experiment with rep ranges and the number of sets in order to find out what works best for you. 
That way, you can keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.